I used to find that when girlfriends rang me up and told me the stories of doom and gloom and disaster and divorce, I never really knew what to say to them. And then I thought about it quite a lot and realised that for myself, the only things that really cheer me when I'm feeling stricken by life are the small things, the things that are always there for you. So I started thinking about small pleasures and started counting them, seeing how many small pleasures I could think of of my own. And I ended up with 270 small pleasures. And I, in talking to other people, I realised we've all got our pleasures. It's actually about a way of seeing and a way of noticing what's all around us. Your pleasures will be different to mine, but the idea is to start looking. And it's really worth doing because it makes you feel so much better. My own pleasures are very wide ranging from good bread to finding shells on the beach, cheap jewellery, crisp apples warm towels, full moons, babies that laugh at you, eating the froth on my cappuccino, having a girls night out with all my friends, those wonderful over-the-top Christmas lights. They're all the sort of silly small pleasures that cheer you up and make you feel that life's good. The whole point of writing the book was actually to make other people see their own pleasures, to see the things that cheer them up, because it's really all about seeing, looking around you, noticing, noticing little things, just looking. Yesterday I was walking down Oxford Street and a one-man steel band was playing and I just felt happy all afternoon. These tiny things, they're just all around us. Just keep your eyes open and notice.